All right, so it was a Sunday morning. I was in the kitchen fixing breakfast. And the reason I remember it was a Sunday morning is that's the only morning I usually make a big breakfast. And my daughter comes in, remember at four years old, opens the refrigerator and notices one of those little four packs of green jello. And she says, may I have a jello? I give her one, she takes it, slurps it up, comes back. Okay, audience participation, what do you think she wants? Another jello. I say, no, you may not have another jello. What do you think happens next? She falls to the floor in a fit. I want jello. I want jello. And this annoying, shrill, nails on the chalkboard kind of voice. And I'm looking at her without sympathy. Crying will not help you. So let's talk about the then husband, now ex husband, <laughs> just for our amusement. He calls from the living room Give her the blankety blank jello. I said, honey, I'm fixing breakfast. I'd rather not. Give her the jello. I'd rather not. Do you sense a conflict brewing? <laughs> so now at this moment, we are at each other's throats. Jello, no jello, jello, no jello. And I'm sure that she's laying on the floor in her four year old wisdom thinking, will someone come to consensus? Will there be jello or will there not? OK, maybe she wasn't thinking that in those exact words. So I remember, have you ever had one of those out-of-body experiences where you're in a situation and then you find yourself standing over here looking at yourself on the sidelines thinking, what? Yeah, what the? <laughs> exactly. I couldn't say that, but yeah, that. And, and I remember thinking, you know what, Sarita, you teach this stuff for a living. Conflict resolution, working together better, dealing with negativity. You are surely not standing in this kitchen fighting over green jello. You know, what's wrong with this picture? And then I remember the principles of conflict resolution, which I refer to affectionately as the green jello principles. Principle number one was what, for those of you who are writing your notes? Oh, yeah, what's the real agenda? What was husband's real agenda on that Sunday morning? Shut her up. Watching the game, whatever he was doing. Now, here's where it gets interesting, and I'm going to need some hands raised and some serious participation. What might have been on my very long list of agenda items that Sunday morning? Who wants to wager a guess? Anyone have a thought as to what was on Sarita's agenda? Please, sir in the blue shirt. Oh, well now. <laughs> he, he says, I, I love the way he said, I'm going to say it in the same tone of voice. He said it. He needs to get himself up off the couch and help or something like that. I love it. So, <laughs> What do you say? He's been married 24 years. <laughs> I'm going to go sit down. I love it. He says, that's how I know that. I'm going to go sit down and let him finish the seminar. So, so that's very good. Good answer. What else might have been on my agenda on that Sunday morning? What was going through my mind? Please, I saw half a hand, maybe. Oh, well, now, she's just got the big C word, which scares me, control. <laughs> she says, control over making the breakfast, control over your child, control over your husband. Oh, I was just out of control, I think, on that morning. <laughs> but there, is this, there was a certain control element going on. Yes, please, ma'am. Yes, you know, I'm working over this hot stove. Somebody's going to eat. You know, appreciation. I want to be acknowledged and recognized and all that good stuff. Anything else on my list that I missed? Yes. Maybe that she wanted a second jello. Okay. Now she did ask for a second jello. Maybe I didn't communicate it clearly, but um, but certainly, why was I why was I also not wanting to give her that second jello? Yeah, I'm fixing breakfast. I don't want to spoil her appetite. So certainly, the fact that she doesn't need a second jello was high on the list because we were cooking a nutritious breakfast and jello was not a part of that plan. Um, have we missed anything else? What else could have been on Sarita's agenda that Sunday morning? Yes, please. Yes, not wanting to reward the crying behavior. Crying will not get you jello. What else? Have we missed any juicy uh, agenda items? I'll have to tell you why you're thinking. My favorite answer to date. And I was speaking to a group about the same size. It was, it was a luncheon group. I was sharing the same story. They were participating. And a man in the back of the room raised his hand. And he scared me. Because he said something that sounded like he might know me better than I know myself. I'd never seen the man before, but when he said this, it kind of scared me because he said, and I'll say exactly how he said it, 
You just wanted those other three jellos for yourself. 